What motivates me is to give back to my country. The big idea behind Code Hubs is to deploy 100% solar powered working code rooms. We have a pay as you go business model. Rather, we call it pay as you stop. So, what we are trying to do is to deploy a seamless cold chain from the farm to the market, making more nutritious, safe, hygienic food available for Nigerians. Agricultural development sector in Nigeria needs a lot of modern thinking because at the moment it is driven by traditional practices. So in the north of Nigeria, we build cold rooms in farm clusters because the north is actually the food belt of Nigeria. Then down south, we build cold hubs in marketplaces because most of the food coming from the north comes down to the south where you have an upcoming middle class who are actually requesting for high quality food. Before we started using cold hubs, we preserve our vegetables under the shade. I feel very bad when our vegetables go bad because even if we couldn't sell it, we still have to pay for transportation and um, the people that help us harvest it. We started using cold hubs early last year and it has been very helpful to us. I would like to say to other farmers to use cold hubs because I know the losses and I know how it feels to not be able to make profit when when you are working so hard. There are a lot of challenges. Nigeria is a difficult country to do business first. <laughs> the first challenge we had was how to manage our finances. This is a cash-based business, you know. So every day you have people paying a little bit of money and renting space. So one of the things we did was to have an arrangement with our bank. And our bank, we use their agent every day to come and mop up money from each code hub. But it's not the solution. We're actually looking at digital payment platforms that we can use. So that's the first challenge. And the second thing is to rent land in marketplaces. The marketplaces are densely populated. Getting land space to the size we need turned out to be more difficult than we thought. And what we did was to walk around the local government officials to get land to launch so that they can see what we are doing. So it's just like not getting what you want, but actually using whatever you are offered to launch the business. dreaming very big. I tell people that if you can develop a technology in Nigeria, test it in Nigeria, succeed in Nigeria, you can actually deploy it to any African country. We've received requests from all over the world, from Senegal, from Rwanda, from Mali, from Niger, from Kenya, over and over and over. We've actually received a lot of requests from Alaska, the USA. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I wonder what they need a code up for. <laughs> 